Good morning, folks. Channel Vets recognize the latest solar polar field chart for the cycle. It's an abbreviated version of the multi-cyclical magnetic shutdown of the sun, and a few weeks ago I used it to show that one of the many ways we look for a solar pole flip was indeed upon us. If these didn't go back across each other, we could assume that these fields had flipped. And this has not been updated since late November, either here or on Stanford's official lists. So this is one metric we cannot yet say with certainty has completed the flip. Yesterday, people began remarking about reverse sunspots up north. Positive blue leads in the south this cycle with red negative leading up north, and even though you cannot see the umbral intensity, the lead had shifted to blue positive for these tiny regions up north. We'll update this again here in a bit. First article today kind of snuck up on me. We knew drone testing above our heads was coming, but New York, Nevada, Alaska, North Dakota, Virginia, and Texas will be seeing testing first. NASA's Earth Observatory showing a tremendous volcano eruption in Central America, still an event in progress spanning a good way into the thin continent. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, catching shots of China's rover on site. Pretty impressive little snag for the orbiter there. Coming to weather, Cyclone Christine battering Western Australia at the moment. The coastlines will begin to assess damage here soon as the storm heads further inland. Shifting across the Indian Ocean to Madagascar where the storm track is set, we're less than three days until it eclipses the Little Islands. Let's shift back northeast across the water to Indonesia, where excess rain caused two rivers to break their banks, destroying thousands of homes almost instantly. Europe? Wow, what can I say guys, they keep coming. The latest causing more flooding and a landslide. This is the fifth or sixth major winter event of December for this area. Rain south, snow north here. But the main watch is for cold temperatures as the Great Lakes low draws south along the backside, freezing an enormous part of the country way down below zero. Looking at the solar wind shows choppy metrics. Evidence exists that our shield dislikes the perturbations, but it's early there. Flare upticks mentioned last night, taking their time, although indeed following that upward trend. The main sunspot group is shifting off the disk. The big one has multiple deltas and is either Zurich class E or F, and its lack of major flaring is indicative of the shutdown. We do have sunspots coming in on both the south and on the north. The northern reverse spots I'd yesterday are all but gone after major decay and just surface plague remnants of the reversal are there. Let's watch for more. Watch score has been easing off its max for 36 hours, but with fields open completely, power is returning this morning to the earth-facing hole. We saw a break in the uptick as the power went down yesterday. Let's see what today brings as we're back up to 8. Sunspots deserve an eye on the delta hunt and the northern reversal, as do a couple plasma filament eruption threats spinning the center disk. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.